first of all, have a little look at some of your competitors. Have a little look at some of your competitor keywords. Okay, so say for example, you're selling a baby, uh, you know, a baby sort of cloth thing. You could type in the main keyword which I have, which is baby cloth, and then it's going to come up with all these items here. Um, or you could type in something similar. Okay, depending on what you sell. So once you've done that, uh, a little little way to, to find some really cool keywords here um, uh, that are actually working, by the way, not just random keywords that are actually working, is to load X-Ray, first of all. And then once we've loaded X-Ray, what we want to do is start, first of all, what I'll do is filter the results, hide the sponsored ones here. So we're not worried about the search volume here because what we're actually doing is looking at our competitors, okay? So what I personally do when I'm looking for the best keywords to rank for is actually look for the highest sales, so double click that. And then it's going to show us under baby cloth keyword what some of the best selling products are. So as you can see, you've got this one here, which is, uh, let's just check that it's relevant to start with. Yeah, it looks like it's relevant, looks like comfy uh, baby cloth things. Um, check this one out here. Obviously, we can see mega sales here. So we don't need to check that. Uh, and we're not looking at the, the price or anything right here, although it needs to be around about the price that you want to sell your product for. Um, what, depending on the niche that you're actually wanting to sell in, you need to make sure that the products that you're looking for are fairly relevant, okay, depending on whatever you're selling in. So as you can see, these are all pretty relevant here. So what you want to then do, which a lot of people don't know, is then click on uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, or any other products, I'd say a maximum of six or seven that you actually want to uh, find out where they're ranking for. That's not a baby cloth. Uh, this is a baby cloth, so let's click on that one. You get the point, guys. Anything that's relevant, okay? Um, baby 10 packs, uh Cloth, yeah, that is a cloth. Okay, so we can see that they've got mega sales, and they're let's for, say, for example, they're around about the price that we want to sell for. Obviously, we're yeah, we then want to what we want to do is then head to Run Cerebro, and what it's now doing is fetching data not only for one ASIN but actually all of these ASINs. So, a lot of people don't know that you can actually go ahead and actually do this from the x ray like that chuck them in there and then what we want to do is obviously uh, have a little look see how many keywords there are 1828 obviously that's too many guys so what we want to do uh, let's say let's have a little look let's say we want we want to see products that we're ranking between 1 and 60 that could be between pages 1 and 2 oh it's disappeared let's get that up again uh, between same way page 1 and 60 um, and let's say that we also um, want to have a minimum word count of, let's say, three, okay, and a maximum of five, okay. And then what you want to do is keep applying filters until you get more relevant data. As you can see, 114 filter keywords is, is relevant. You know, that means that it's something that we can definitely siphon through. The next thing I want to do here is the search volume here. So I'm looking for high search volume keywords that we can compete with here, guys. Um, so as you can see, I've clicked the search volume there for the highest search. I'm looking over here, competitors rank, okay? So this is sort of the average um, ranking competitors count. So this is the this is the competitors rank, the average rank that all of these ASINs up here that we've put in there are, are ranking for competitively on that niche, on that that one keyword, guys. So it's, a, it's, a, it's good, you know, 5.8 is the average rank, so that means all of them products are, are, are an averagely ranking for that. And we can see that actually four of the competitors are ranking at an average of 5.8, guys. So that's the amount of competitors, i.e. ASINs there, uh, that are actually ranking at this average. So, you know, the, obviously the higher the better, but it doesn't really matter. We're just trying to get uh, the, the main keywords. So what I will then do, guys, is go ahead and siphon. This is how I find my good keywords, you know. This is how I then go ahead and siphon, looking at the uh, competitor's rank, obviously the lower the better, um, the best competitor rank, and then keywords that are very relevant, and then the next stage is finding out if we can obviously go ahead and compete. Because um, there's no point in us trying to rank in a keyword that is going to cost £10,000 to get the top spot. Because personally, you know, we don't want to be spending that sort of budget. But it depends on your, your sort of budget and your criteria here, guys. So we've got Muslim cloth for baby, okay? So what we would then go ahead and do, we can check the search volume. We can check that we've got some good or organic rank there. Um, position rank is, uh, there we go, competitor rank average 5.8. And actually, that's for four products. So we can show that Muslim cloth for baby are actually, that looks like a pretty mega keyword. So let's just go ahead and see 
how competitive that is. As you can see, only 175 results, which is really good. I would then go ahead and look just to check that the sort of products, you know, that the, uh, the software is matching up and it's the same sort of products that we expect. I wouldn't say there's anything uh, apart from this that actually says muslin squares, okay? I wouldn't say there's anything else that is relevant necessarily apart from these guys that have clearly found this keyword and gone after it unless that's a brand there guys it could be a brand but either way we can definitely rank in here because there is a lot of ordinary cloths as well as these muslin uh, uh, cloths here as you can see that's clearly a brand so we could still maybe rank here so what i would then go ahead and do is run the x-ray obviously do the normal checks um, I would go ahead and hide the sponsored results there, check the first 10 products, check that we can uh, rank there, uh, say there's a few under 200 views, one, two, almost three, four, um, yeah, it's definitely something, we got between three and four fairly low average rankings there that all seem to be getting some good sales, so I would say that could be another really good keyword that we could rank for, I know it's clearly the brand now, um, but that doesn't mean you still might not be able to collect some of these sales there, guys, so that that is how I go ahead and do it. I would then work my way through all of these things uh, with Helium 10 Cerebro, which by the way, if you want to grab uh, two months, uh, sorry, 20% off for six months, uh, go ahead and click on my link below. Um, what I then go ahead and do is work my way through all of these guys, um, as many as I think relevant, um, that I need for my listing. So as you can see, the average competitor rank is 77 here, which is a lot higher, okay? Um, but it, it doesn't necessarily matter if it's a good keyword. We might be able to rank a bit higher. So baby towels for newborn. I'll then go ahead and check, once again, only 122 results there. I would then open that keyword up, do the exact same um, sort of process here once I've opened it up. And I would actually check if we can maybe rank in this one as well, you know. Um, as you can see, we've got good search volume there. Um, let's filter the results again. We don't want to look at the sponsored. Look at the top 10 review count. One, two, three, four listings there that are way under 200 um, and most of these are actually getting sales so so guys I would uh, that that's how I find my keywords in like a you know a way that a lot of people don't know how to do so I thought that video would help and I will see you in the next video make sure you go get the uh, two 20% uh, off for six months code below from uh, my friends over at helium 10 and I'll see you in the next video